this has got to be one of my favorite ways to catch crappie. I love to see that float just go under, just balloon. There he is. There him is. <laughs> First one of the day, folks. Well, today the sun's shining. That's unusual. That's a pretty little fish right there. He ain't very big. But he's a black crappie. Let's try to flip him in here. That is my first crappie right there, and it's a black crappie. Oh, about nine inches long. On my brand new rod, this is a, a sow belly ultra light action rod, folks. It's six and a half feet long. Light as a feather and limber as a dish rag. That's what I'm wanting today. Let's let him go. Go on back. Here is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's been a while since we've had blue skies like this. There's a few puffies in the air, but not many or in the sky. First fish on my sow belly rod. This is a six and a half foot light action. I mean, not light action, but ultra light action rod. Real limber. Limber's a dish rag. And I'm using a Daiwa Fago LT1000 size reel loaded with two pound tests. Have is mono, excuse me. Monofilament line. Using a 1.75 slab tail jig. Uh, inch and three quarter long. Has that good tail right there. This is this jig right here is my favorite under a float. Now I'll use others, but this one right here gets the job done. Um, now I'm using using two pound test line. I'm going to tie. A, I'm tying a Palomar knot um, to that little jig head right there. I don't know what size it is, how heavy it is. It's real light, folks. It has a size eight sickle hook in it, and I caught that fish about two feet deep with a small bets float that float is probably about an inch and a quarter long that's what we're doing we're going to fish this tree right here or out in front of it real slow and see what we can do i'll probably start right here and lead up where i caught that fish they could be a bunch of them or they could just be a few but whatever that was a lot of fun to see that cork just go bloom. Look here, there's another fish. <laughs> it went bloop again. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Did not expect that to happen. Now this is a little bitty crappie. This is a little bitty one, but still. My goodness. There must be a bunch of them in here. Must be, let's let him go and see if we can do that again. Now I'm letting the wind move this float. Very little action. On a slab tail jig, which I've been using for years uh, under these floats like this. And this is my favorite way right here. Two pound line, ultra light rod. And just let the, the ripples and the wind work that bait basically. I mean, I, sometimes I'll move it a little bit. But I'm basically letting the, the ripples and the wind do all the work. It's enough action for the strike. It makes that tail seesaw back and forth like that. And that's all the action you need for a crappie. Now I'm heading. Hey, look here. Wait a minute. There's another fish. Into the wind. That way these fish don't know I'm here. What do we got? Oh, that's a bluegill. That's just a pretty good size bluegill. That bait to catch them all. That's another catch-all type bait that I love to use. And it works year-round. Not just in the wintertime, but, but year-round. Let's make another cast. The wind settled down just a little bit right here, so what I'm going to do, let's make a cast up there. 
is I'm going to have to put my own action in here a little bit more action than what I'm just going to move it about a foot eight ten inches to a foot look here there oh my and then we got bed I'm trying to oh uh, let's make another cast see I'm not putting much action in, into that jig at all folks I want that jig to look like it's easy prey water temperature is cold it's around 46 degrees on top right now that's pretty cold so what I'm doing is making it look like an easy target an easy something to eat that's what we're wanting to do right now there's one. Oh my let's see if we can get him out of there I can't tell y'all how this hole is bending right here I don't think it's an incredibly big one but it's a good crappie look here we got us a white crappie back at, looky here looky here looky here white crappie it's been a while since I've caught one of those barely got him hooked to okay let's get right here Y'all excuse the grunt, and I'm a little bit sore. Or a lot of bit sore. I've been doing some building here lately. That's a nice white crappie. Looky there. Let's put him out in the sun. Ain't that pretty? Good gracious, I'm breaking my rod in. Quit. Let's let him go. That limber rod is the deal. It's the ticket when it comes to little bitty baits like this. And light line, two pound test line. This rod is suitable. This is per a perfect rod for two pound line. You know, folks, when it comes to fishing like this, when water temperature's this cold, there's no doubt in my mind the best way as far as presentation goes is to fish very very slow very slow i don't really know that you can fish too slow see we just got a bite right there just got a bite right getting another bite and i'm not even moving the jig i'm letting the the bow in my line and the wind move that float and every once in a while, I'm putting a little bit of that in there, of course, a little bit of action, but slow, real, real slow is the key. You'll catch triple the amount of fish than you would if you were fishing quicker. They, now that's a good crappie right here. That's a better fish right here, folks. Finally. Let's get him away from this tree right here. Mmm. -hmm. I can't tell y'all how this fish is pulling. I know one, one thing. It's time to retie a knot after this one. After I catch a few on two-pound line, it's time to, to uh, retie a knot. Excuse me. Now that's a good one. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, that's a big crappie. Oh, me. Well, I knew it would finally happen. I didn't know when. That's a pretty good fish right there. That one's probably about 12 and a half, 13 inches long. Pretty good fish. That right there is what does it. Um, this jig head is light enough that... I don't have to use a loop knot, which I usually do, but on two pound test line, I'll tie a Palomar. It's a lot stronger. You can get, you can get uh, the benefit out of that small two pound test line. Um, you can get all the two pound test line strength out of a Palomar knot, which you can't with a loop knot. It'll break a lot quicker, but that tail action right there is what does it this jig head is light enough to where this plastic will float it up in a 90 degree angle like that and when you barely move it that tail is just barely going up and down like that and that's what triggers the bite 
under a float. I tell you, it's very effective, especially inactive crappie. Now, these fish ain't very inactive. They're biting pretty good. Pretty doggone good. Let's let him go. There he goes. Good fish. Whoa. There's nothing wrong with that fish. It was a darn good fish. Whoa! Okay. After you catch two or three pretty good crappie, I would suggest, in my opinion, to go ahead and retie your knot if you're going to use two-pound test line. Even a Palomar knot, it'll weaken real quick. And another thing what's real important, I've mentioned it before, is buy a, a, a reel that has a real <laughs> a reel, y'all get it? Smooth drag. A Fago LT1000. Well, listen to this. Smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Let's make another cast. About right there is where I caught that fish. We'll just barely move it and just let the bait sit there. That float's still bouncing. I count a little bit of... A little bit of a ripple on the water right now not much of one but a little bit enough to make that jig move there he is there's another good one almost in the same place not quite but almost folks never leave a sp an area where you've caught a crappie never ever a good fish we'll net him i trust a size eight hook i've caught some crappie way over two pounds on a size eight hook many of them through the years that's a good fish right there but uh the main thing is to take your time see he, yeah, hook's got him ain't no doubt about it a lot of people says a size 8 hook is too small for crappie. That's nonsense. I don't know where they get that kind of stuff. That's a thick fish too. Heavy little crappie. Let's let him go. What it is, a lot of crappie fishermen want to hook them and ski them to the boat. They ain't even got a chance to fight. I mean, just, and with them old long poles, they'll set the hook with everything they got and snatch them in the boat without them fighting. I just don't see the sport in that, folks. That's why I like, <laughs> I want to fight the fish. I want to give that fish a sporting chance to get a loose. If he gets a loose, I don't care. I would rather him not get a loose, but if he does, well, so what? We give him a sporting chance. I'm just letting the, the wind do the work for me. And the little bitty ripples. If you can see that float's just going like that. And it's moving too, covering water. That's a much better presentation than if I tried to put one um, to, to work the bait. But... If it was a flat still day, I would have to impart action into the jig. There he is. There's a good fish right here. This is a good one, or a lot better. He was on a different part of the tree. He was back farther back, folks. Now this limber rod that I have right here, this ultralight, is enabling that size eight hook to hold a lot of give in this rod and if you're going to fish this way especially with the one inch baits inch and a half baits you're going to be and with small hooks is what i'm talking about size eight or size 10 hooks you need a rod like this one ultra light that's a good fish right there come on Got you, didn't I, boy? Golly, what a crappie. Look at there, folks. Now that 
is a good one. No doubt. Let's let him go. I sure take my time, folks, out here. What I do is I dissect like a tree like this each and every limb. I just take my time because a school of fish of eight or ten or so may not be but in a, in a, in a wad about the size of a tire, a 15-inch tire, truck tire. And sometimes they'll spread out quite a bit more than that, but a lot of times they'll stay real tight together like that. And if you miss that place, and if they're not real aggressive and hungry, even though they see that jig, they're not going to come after it. You got to hit right in the middle of those fish oftentimes to get a strike. Look here. There's another one. Now that one ain't small. That ain't a small fish. Not at all. Golly. Quit. Are you gonna quit? That's a good one right here. We'll we'll net him. A lot better than I thought I thought this was all small fish up there. See I've done caught several. That's a good crappie right there. By Ned. It's probably about 12 inches long. But the deal that's really a big crappie, but what I'm what I'm wanting to get up the the point I'm trying to get across right now is now I caught several small ones that we're not gonna show. Let's let this fish go. And uh several little bitty ones. Anywhere from seven and a half to nine inches long. Pretty small crappie. And um I just kept fishing and kept fishing. The reason why is because that don't mean that there, that's all that's there is small crappie. A lot of times those bigger fish are mis mixed up with them, you know. And uh, sometimes they're not, but sometimes they are. So that's why I just keep catching them until they quit biting, and then I'll locate some more. I just wanted to throw throw that in there. Let's catch another. Whoa! Where am I at? Well, folks, that was simply enjoyable, no doubt. I caught a lot more fish than what I thought I would have, especially being in between two fronts. But as far as a technique for cropping, in my opinion, this has got to be the most reliable way to catch them. Small jig, small line, ultralight rod, hey, with a float or cork, whichever way you want to call it, is no doubt one of the best ways, I believe. And the reason why is because you can keep the bait in front of the fish for a long time. And the best bait today, well, which I've tried a couple different ones, but the, was the 1.75 Super Slabtail Fish Stalker bait right here. And that color is called Blue Ice Pearl. Fantastic bait when you want to hold a bait in front of a crappie for a long time. It seems to me like it's just almost irresistible. It's a great bait to throw. And I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do is appreciated. Y'all have built this channel up to way past 300,000 subscribers, and I can't believe it. It was done quick, and y'all done it. And I want to say thank y'all. Hey, whoa. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.